What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to another episode of H1Z1. Well, today's episode or today's video isn't really technically an episode of H1Z1, seeing as I'm not really going to include it in the Season 2 playlist. Um, this is more or less kind of a revisiting of H1Z1 to see how far it's come in the past couple of months that we have not been playing it and to see if it's really worth going back to. Um, over the course of the last couple months, I know that we have been playing a lot of Daisy Mod. Uh, obviously, that's one of the main staples here on the channel is Daisy, whether it be mod or standalone, even though we're going to take a break on standalone until Experimental 6.1 comes out. Um, but yeah, we are, or I rather, am going to be playing some H1Z1 today and see if it might be worth coming back to in the future. Um, I haven't really heard a lot about H1Z1 lately, or really since the release of it. Um, but anyways, I know that there are a lot of people who still play H1Z1, obviously not a huge, huge community. Uh, but I, I know that there are people out there that still play H1Z1 because obviously how else would the game still be on Steam if no one was playing it? A la Nether or Nether Resurrection or whatever the hell it's called. Anyway, I digress. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Ruby Lake Resort. Um, okay, so I am on the outskirts of this town over here now, and something I noticed when I was changing some of the graphic settings in my, uh, or through, through the main menu and everything, not the main menu, but the, the pause menu, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I did notice, however, that there is a thing in here where you can actually change your reticle or crosshairs, however you want to refer to it as. Um, you just click that tab right there and choose whichever one you got. I mean, you can see they've got some pretty decent ones in here. I don't know, for some reason I always like the little, the little triangle thing here. Uh, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, now I know that at least the last time I played, which was several, several months ago, um, these little guard towers over here were actually not too bad for loot. Um, oftentimes I would find shotguns and everything around there. Uh, doesn't look like there's really anything there right now. Uh, obviously besides this, uh, water bottle, which I will take the stagnant water, even though it's probably gonna end up making me sick. Um, I don't really think that guard tower up there is really worth going to. I know I've gone there a few times in the past and never really got anything decent. Um, I think the best thing I've ever found up there was like some kind of pistol. I can't exactly remember what kind of pistol it was, but yeah. Uh, but we're gonna come up here and hopefully find some decent shit. Speaking of finding decent shit, I think I just found my first fucking... Aww. Oh, okay, I can get over there. I think I just found my first vehicle since uh, playing the game. Today, at least. I found vehicles before, but they've needed a lot of repairs. Which, this one probably needs a lot of repairs, but... We're still gonna come over here and check it out. I do have to say that the game does sound a bit different. I'm not sure if they added in some stuff at some point or, or another. Um... If they have, and you guys know, and you would like to inform me, then just simply let me know in the comment section. Um, it's kind of weird that this thing's just abandoned over here. It's 100%. And it was unlocked. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is awesome. I've never... Oh shit. I've never been able to drive one of the vehicles in the game. Or I've never had the opportunity, I should say, to drive one of the vehicles in the game. So, this is actually kind of cool. Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> you see that guy back there? 
Holy shit. This is actually pretty cool. Alright, here's another campsite we can check out, guys. Jesus. Are these things, like, indestructible or something? I was purposely trying to wreck right there, and nothing. Finally, I'm finding some actual loot. Hmm. I found a couple rounds of 44 ammo. Don't tell me that's all I'm going to find. Wow. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I really kind of want to wreck this truck, though. I don't know why, but I really want to wreck it. Woo! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, maybe try not to use the fucking turbo. There we go, now I can use it. There we go. Alright guys, this is going to be my last ditch effort to uh, find some kind of interest in playing this game. Uh, I mean, I've gone around to a few different buildings, haven't really found jack shit, um, and yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, it's really weird how it was... I, I was actually into this game for a while, and then, I don't know, just, uh, may, maybe it's the server and not the game, or maybe it's just the game altogether. Uh, I, I know a lot of people do not like this game. Um, oddly enough, it has gotten quite a bit of views uh, on my channel over... The period of time or period of time that those videos have actually been available, um, but yeah, it's really weird. I mean, smoke grenade—that's what I just found. Uh, loot used to be a lot different, as far as I remember it, and uh, this is kind of not very impressive. Um, I do have this game in my Steam library, which is why I want to play it, obviously. Uh, I mean, a backpack, that's not too bad. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I played it for a few hours, I would start to acquire quite a bit of stuff, but I'm really not looking to play it for that long. Um, I don't know. It's, uh... Kind of hard to figure out whether or not this was ever a decent game to begin with. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that there's those of you that really do enjoy this game and that still play it to this day and, you know, you guys stand by it and everything like that. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that you're, that you're wrong for having that opinion. But as far as I'm concerned, I... I don't know. I'm just really not into try to put a whole lot of time into a game that, uh, number one, that nobody that really games with me really wants to play H1Z1. Uh, I've, I've tried to get guys to play with it, or with me on this game many, many times, and they always say, no, 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 let's just go play the mod or something. Um, but yeah, uh, as far as this game is concerned, uh, I am definitely going to be checking back on it here in about, I guess, another six months. So, probably sometime late December, 
uh, unless some great huge update comes out for it and that completely changes the game, then I'll definitely go ahead and uh, try that out. Let's see if I can hit this deer. Probably won't. And now I'm all out of arrows, so awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely end up checking the game out again later on down the road, definitely before the end of the year. Um, but it might be a while before you see any more H1Z1 stuff. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of a, uh, off video. There wasn't really any PvP. There was not really any action at all. Um, like I said, uh, earlier, this was kind of a revisiting of H1Z1 to kind of see if it would be worth coming back to or not. Um, and clearly, I mean, at, at least for me, it's really not. Uh, but we will check back up on the game because I do really want to play it. Uh, like I said, it sits in my Steam library. It's been installed for the past couple months, and I'm just now getting around to playing it. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you in the next one. Well, I can't. There we go. Aww. God damn it. I can't even commit suicide in this game. <laughs> Alright, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.